So welcome to 88.7 The Pulse. Um, this is our studio. It's a ton of fun and you're gonna be able to see our entire area. I'm gonna show you the on-air studio first. We've got a secondary country station and uh, we're getting ready for Wrench Nation right now. So come on in. This is where the guys make the magic happen. The magic, oh my goodness, the magic. You got a little fairy dust action. Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> Uh, so here's where you're going to hear all of the sounders, all of the little blitz and bleeps that's going on behind the scenes. And it'll have the lineup for the different songs we can play throughout the show and on the station. You can always text the station, 480-655-8870. If you want to hear a request, if you've got a question for Wrench Nation, that's some of the things that we do here. We're all about community. Real right people, scares, real radio, real, real mistakes, <laughs> but real courage. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, let's keep on, keep on going. Um, this room is kind of behind the scenes, producer action, that's where we'll call screen. And here is our second radio station, it's the Gold Mine. Um, this one caters more to the East Valley and not able to hear the programming at the moment. So we're not going to worry about it. We love it. It's always good to be able to have multiple sources, anything to help our people. And that's the Gold Mine's logo if you're interested. So, continuing the tour, fun part about 88.7 The Pulse, hey, welcome to the studios. Uh, fun part about 88.7 The Pulse is we're really a part of the East Valley Institute of Technology. So, that means that students get to come here and cut their teeth and learn about audio and how to layer it to make an effective marketing message or go on to whatever they want to pursue in their passion, whether that's being a DJ, being a music producer, etc. So... This is, <laughs> yeah, there is. Right down the hall, out to the left, you'll get it. <laughs> so this is where the students will work. They're working on Pro Tools, which is um, standard in the audio industry. It's definitely something they want to get their hands cut in. And this is classroom number one. Over here, we have individual audio bays. Let's go ahead and cut through there so you can see them. So each one of these rooms has uh, some sound treatment to it. That way they can get the opportunity to record in an isolated environment. Our PM class, I think, has almost 40 students in it. So you can imagine it gets pretty darn loud in one room. So this is kind of where, uh, where all the students will go to. They'll be able to cut and, and record and then give it back to Steve, who's also the GM, the radio station general manager, the teacher, and everything else extraordinaire. Steve Gross, Google him. Uh, with a Z. Really nice guy. Then this is a fun part that you probably don't know about. We have our own real recording studio. The Conservatory of Recording Arts and Sciences helped us to design this. That way our students that are interested in real music production and behind the scenes, cutting voiceover, etc. Now they have an outlet to do that and the teachers are able to guide them and teach them to run a PreSonus board with the KRK speakers, and we've got Pro Tools, machines. They're learning, uh, they're learning a plethora here, and we really want them to be able to intern somewhere, get hired, get paid for this skill, if that's their passion. Now we're gonna take a peek into the recording studio. So you just got to see the engineer room. And this is where we get to make you feel like a rock star. So our fully functional recording studio, the wood on the walls is called acoustic diffusion. The blue on the walls is acoustic absorption. And even the details down to the window being slanted, every single bit of this helps this room to have the best quality audio possible. And if you love being in a quiet zone, you're gonna love being in the vocal isolation booth. So as you step into this room, I usually just kind of keep it quiet so people can hear it, but Check it out. This is where you would cut vocals. Um, and then they're able to see the band in from the other room as well. And you're able to see your music producer all at the same time. And it's available for public rental. 55 bucks an hour gets you a student engineer and your opportunity to record here. So anybody interested in that, you just give us a call. We'll get you taken care of. All right. And that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of our tour. I can show you the, um, the sports room if you want. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So we are having some video, um, video equipment that's going to be installed in this area, so students can work on that. 
Um, next door to the radio station, we have a graphic media and design class. They also will do stuff for uh, local businesses. So you can advertise on our radio station. You can also leverage our resources here if needed for printing. This is Mr. Eric Perez, award-winning teacher, instructor, and he, uh, he also helps run the print shop that they're starting up this year. So anybody that needs logos, designs, websites, vinyl banners, I mean, you name it, he's got a large format printer that is awesome. Any chance we can sneak a peek at that? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Cards for Thank so, you. You know, cards if you want, want to see that. Sure. <laughs> Hi, welcome. We do the uh, <clears throat> marketing campaigns and uh, visual communications, graphic design. Um, we can actually print large format um, as well. Let me go ahead and give you an idea, and then you can kind of, if you want to email me, I can also get you a list of prices and services that we provide, although it is listed right here, so if you want to go ahead and take some video of what we do, <clears throat> we can basically um, partially wrap a vehicle or wrap a vehicle. Which reminds me, I've got Arizona Fun Services wants you to wrap their van later. i got to talk to them about that. Yeah, that's good. That would be a good option. So this is one of the large format stickers and large format printers that we um, can currently work on. We can do one color stickers, we can do film, we have laminate so that it's more protective coating that can go on top of the actual, <coughs> um, you know, laminate just protects the actual film itself. So something like that in the Arizona sun is going to last three to four years, um, maybe three years max. What the laminate is going to do at the very end of that device, it's going to allow it to last two to three more years before you have to change it out. Okay. The big thing about uh, wrapping vehicles or wrap, partially wrapping vehicles is that you can, instead of painting them, it, you can peel that back off after a year or two and then redesign it all over again without having to buy a new vehicle or having to get a new paint job, you know, a new custom paint job. And uh, whatever you design or have designed, we can go ahead and do. So we can also work with vinyl material <clears throat> for vinyl-based banners. This is an example of just a, a basic no parking, okay? But the material itself is all vinyl based. So it's weather resistant. You know, if something, somebody splashes soda on it, all you do is just kind of spray some Windex or something and wipe it right back down. So, you know, you charge a little bit more for that, but basically it's uh, for the material, depending on what you want to use. So, I mean, we can make anything from decals to small stickers to, you know, signage. Okay. Thank you so, so much. We really appreciate your time. Anything. I'm going right. to go back. I have so a, a student head back there to with the me that I haven't uh, had a chance to see oh, in like sure. years. No uh, worries. No worries. Thanks for taking thanks, the time. Not a problem. Really sure appreciate it. And let us know if there's anything that we can provide as a service or contact us because we'd love to be able to help out. I was noticing you got a really cool bag. <laughs> ah, thank you. It was Thanks custom, so custom made. It. So now we're going to head back to the on air studio. We're going to be um, getting getting ready for Runch Nation, which is going to air in T minus 12 minutes. Alrighty. Well, thank you for the tour. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks so there's more pictures and stuff. And that's the go. sports room with Dave Juday. Oh, there's a sports room you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you say the sports room, so it's. Well, I say sports the sports broadcast. room because Dave Juday comes from ESPN in Chicago mm -hmm. and he teaches our students all about live sports broadcasts and they're actually going to be doing local games here. Excellent. Dave, do you want to say a couple words about um, about what you're teaching the students? Uh, just <laughs> sports, news, journalism, um, pretty much the broadcasting, broadcast journalism basics. Um, Bray's right, I come from a sports background in Chicago. Um, did sports radio in major markets for 19 years. And yeah, we're getting ready for the high school football season to start. Excellent. Um, we're gonna be broadcasting 21 games on our two stations all over the East Valley starting next Friday. So awesome. just had a meeting with uh, five of our afternoon students today who are all um, really chomping at the bit to get Got on a the good air. Team? And, yeah. 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 And so he's excited. grown this thing from absolutely yeah. nothing to having that many games coming across all over yep. the, all in the East Valley in That's less awesome. than two years. So That's you want to talk great. about go-getter? 
He's our guy. That's the guy. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Nice to meet you. Alrighty, come on, all we right. gotta get back to the now. show. Now, now we'll be done. There's, there we go. They're all meeting up and talking. Full service. Love that way. That creepy. And Arizona. These guys, you're welcome to record, say hi. Rolling Russ, Steve Russ, Frank. I mean, this is this is our team here. Thanks for visiting. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go print eight copies for the show notes. Which one? We, uh, 